Homesteading is the practice of living frugally or self-sufficiently by growing and preserving your own food. Hi everyone, how are you doing today? You are all very welcome here. If you're seeing me for the first time, you are so welcome here. I am Sarah Pedun. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to start an urban homestead. My first point is start by growing anything. Yes, even if you're in an apartment, you can start by growing anything. Grow in containers, grow in pots, grow in a raised bed. You can grow foods like spring onions, collard greens, that's kumawiki, or Swiss chard. Those do very well in containers. So yes, even if you're in an apartment, you can grow in those places. Some people tell me, Sarah, I wish I had a large place like yours, I would be doing the same. Well, start today by growing in containers. My second point is ask to use an empty plot or piece of land. For example, my neighbor had a plot of land that she had not yet constructed in. So I asked her if I could use it. And she was so relieved that I asked because by me using it, I was maintaining it and it was not overtaken by weeds or unwanted plants. Also, it stopped it from being a dumping ground as people had started throwing rubbish around. When I started planting in her plot, I kept it safe and clean. You can ask your neighbor, friend to use their empty lot plot if they're not yet constructing. And of course, be, you have to be respectful enough to leave when they tell you they need to use it. Since my neighbor's plot was big, I grew lots of corn and beans. That was more than enough for us. As I was growing vegetables at home, I used a lot for growing corn, beans, sweet potatoes. I grew lots of things there and I'm very appreciative she gave me the chance to do that. The third point is visit someone who is already homesteading or practicing it and you see how they do it. I visit friends, even if they're just keeping local chicken, rearing chickens at home, and see how they do it. Also growing vegetables. You can visit someone who is growing vegetables and ask how they're doing it. I do organic farming here. So I ask around a lot for what I can use in the garden to deter the pests and how I can manage it. There is no one way. You'll always learn tips here and there. As you know, learning never stops. So yes visit someone who is already doing homesteading i would advise that you visit and find out what birds to keep if you're keeping birds i one time had a guinea fowl here and that was my biggest mistake having a guinea fowl very noisy if you have a very big plot of land you can go ahead and have whatever you want but in your small space some birds or animals are just way too noisy for your small home state. So do your research, visit around, gather and see what you want in your homestead. My number four is learn to preserve your food. Grow herbs like mint, oregano, thyme, basil. Hang them to dry in shade and preserve it to use whenever you want to. As homesteading is a practice of living frugally by growing your own food and preserving it. So learn to grow and preserve your food. And these days it's very easy. There is YouTube University. <laughs> okay, you can always Google things out and find them. Find ways to use and preserve different things. I am still in the learning process. My number five is just like number four. Learn how best to cook what you grow. 
So some people plant things and they have no idea how to cook it and sometimes it goes to waste. Also there are things that we throw away that we can cook it in a different way. I have learned to cook a banana blossom, the banana flower from my Filipino friend. She told me it's delicious and I went on YouTube and learned how to cook a banana blossom. It is very delicious and this is something we just throw away. So when I told my sisters I'm going to cook a banana flower, they were very skeptical. <laughs> and most people I tell here that you can cook a banana flower. They, they cringe at the thought of cooking it. But that is very delicious. I cooked it without telling my sisters and I served it to them. They enjoyed it. They thought it was minced meat or something. But after that, I told them, you're eating a banana flower. That is it. Learn how best to cook what you grow. When someone talks about homesteading, you'll be like, oh my God, when is that time coming that I'll get a very big chunk of land? <laughs> and I do A, B, C, D. Well, the good news is you don't have to wait until you get that big chunk of land. You can start from your balcony, from that small space that you have, you can start practicing so that when you have that big chunk of land, you have lots of things you can do there. When you wait for so long for that big piece of land, uh, that time in between waiting and the reality is so long. You may be discouraged in between and you may actually never practice your homestead. So start by homesteading wherever you are. I hope you learned something from today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And as a way you can support me, kindly subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Yes, this one is very, very nice. Nice looking. Mm. And these ones crack when there's too much rain. These are the ones that they eat. Eat in the village. Mm. We had the red ones also, Connie. Even the red oval ones. Hey, Pilly! I didn't eat cookie. I'm going to take a look at Pilly. <laughs> oh my goodness, a pili will eat a pili li. Those ones are too many that are up there. Those ones.